Hello guys, in the last video we completed conversions from primitive type to string type. That is the fifth conversion out of six conversions. No? But in this video we are going to see the last conversion, six type of conversion. That would be like what? No? Conversions from string type to primitive type. Conversions from string type to primitive type. So only one approach is available. If you want to convert the data from string type to primitive type, here we are having only one approach. What is that approach? No, just by using parse xxx method. Parse xxx method from wrapper classes. Parse xxx method from wrapper classes. We can understand it public static xxx, right? Parse xxx of string value. Like this here we are having where xxx is like what no primitive data primitive values now let's see one example say for example public static int parse int of string value this method we are going to use frequently in our java applications we are going to convert the data from like what no string type to integer type frequently why because whenever we are taking dynamic input even though we enter some number data as a dynamic input no that number data will come in the form of string only that string values we have to be converted to like what no primitive data so this is frequent requirement in our java applications now let's observe this clearly i am going to provide this now let's observe this clearly now for example i want to take in i is equal to 10 right sir now string type to integer type that means small int no string str is equal to double quotation 10 we are going to take then inside the string str is equal to double quotation 10 now int i is equal to integer dot parse int method here we are going to use and str right sir int i is equal to integer dot parse int of str that we are going to use sys not out dot printl of str plus a space plus a i str plus a space i that we are getting this is the program now directly integer dot parse int of str we are converting the data from string type to integer type only so here we are getting that output like what now 10 space 10 output here we are getting only one approach is available to convert the data from string type to primitive types now only one approach that is by using like what now parse xxx method let me do the same thing in our diagram now directly here string type to primitive type direct mechanism is like what now string str is equal to double quotation 10 then after that now here we are going to provide like what now int i is equal to integer dot parse int of str that we are providing that's it this is the mechanism here we are going to understand so overall guys now here if you observe these six types of conversions here we completed primitive type to object type and object type to primitive type string type to object type and object type to string type and string type to primitive type and primitive type to string type six types of conversions to convert the data from primitive type to object type three approaches are available by using parameters to constructor by using value of method by using auto boxing to convert the data from object type to string type no two approaches are available one is by using value of method and second one is auto unboxing to convert the data from string type to object type no again two approaches are available one is by using parameters constructor string parameters constructor second one is value of method second one is to convert the data from object type to string type no two approaches are available again here what are the two approaches no just by using two string method and by using plus concatenation operator Next one is to convert the data from primitive type to string type now two approaches are available one is by using two string method static two string method from each and every wrapper class and the second one is by using plus a concatenation operator. Next one is to convert the data from string type to object primitive type now only one mechanism is available that is by using parse xxx method. In all these examples, I shown directly int to integer or maybe string to integer like this. Integer related manipulations only I shown that. But we can practice with the byte, with the short, with the float, with the double. In any way, we can practice all these examples. But as a model, I shown in the form of integers clearly. So this is overall awareness on like what now? Wrapper classes. Wrapper classes related points in Java.